Did you ever take the 83 bus from like right around Chinese, like behind Chinese Man into Denver? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know where the last stop was on that bus? No. Montbello. And I fell asleep on it one time and Wait, woke from up. Parker and Arapaho, the yeah, Chinese yeah. Man Theater? Uh-huh. Yeah. The last stop on, if you didn't get off in Denver at Civic Center, it went on to Montbello. And I fell asleep on there one time and woke up and was like, "Where is? We're not in Colorado." Yeah, dude, that's the equivalent. Is this every black in Colorado? <laughs> yeah, would you guys put them all in one? Do a roundup of the Mountain Time Zone? <laughs> is this the Billups family? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we did. That's like the that's the New York equivalent of when I fell asleep on the four train yeah. and I woke up in the South Bronx uh-huh. and I was like. Well, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh-oh you just throw your wallet out of your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, comes to mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, if you're if you don't want a Denver centric episode, skip it. Oh yeah, turn Go it off and right watch now. some other stuff. Because uh-huh. I'm telling you right now, having Sam Talent <laughs> yeah. here on my podcast, it's I just want to talk to you about all the stuff in Denver. Me too, dude. I was so ha- I was I was hoping you we would. Go yeah, there. Dude, <laughs> it, I mean, he did bust out the the Broncos jersey. Yeah. Thought it was a modern Mecklenburg, it's which not. is a cool. It's a good eye. Seventy seven. Hey, hey, brother, can we just take a moment? Randy Gratishar's in the hall. So he is with you know. I what? know that doesn't with, matter for you with Patrick Willis. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's not start doing that. Oh, you mean the handsome, powerful black man who played for an empire versus the orange crush figurehead? <laughs> Those the guys who are your dad's friends? Oh, dude. Who are just smashing into people? <laughs> I don't know what my dad's going to talk about now. Oh, really? Because that's all he would ever like. Would I be Was like, that his Pete Rose? Yeah, yeah. He's like, Radishar's not in the hall. Dude. He had 204 tackles a year for 10 years straight. <laughs> dude, old school Bronco fans? <laughs> yeah. Just being like Craig Morton. Exactly. And you're like, I don't give a shit. You know, before Tom Jackson was yapping his mouth on ESPN. He was running a 3-4-D before anyone else. Oh, fuck, man. Welcome to the 5-2-8. This is going to be heavy Colorado talk. You're Lewis. I'm Floor Wax. (laughs) Let's get it. KTCL. Rocks the Rockies. 93-3, which I... That was 93-3. KBPI was Lewis and Floor Wax. 106-7. Yeah, that Mm -hmm. rocked the Rockies. Yeah, I think... uh, That's where I learned about Rush. Because I... That was my alarm clock, and I woke up to Tom Sawyer uh-huh. in like fifth grade, and I was like, "This song fucking rules." Yeah, you're like, I must still be dreaming. Yeah, I was like, yeah, and then I went downstairs, and it was like right when my mom started dating my stepdad, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Hey, who's the band Tom Sawyer?" And my my mom's boyfriend was like, "You mean Rush?" And I swim to that song. <laughs> no, that was good boyfriend. Bad boyfriend was the swimmer. Oh, uh, okay. Good stepdad. Yeah, was um, like a uh, he. He actually lived in load. Like he lived in downtown, like near Capitol Hill, which is the coolest thing you can do. Not back then, though. This no, but I mean, like, I knew a couple dudes whose dads would break up with, like, their moms and then move down to, like, Five Points. <laughs> yeah. And you get to go hang out down there yeah. and be like, what? And run around the alleys. You guys had jazz? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All this time. What's all this flavored food? Yeah. Uh, what is that? It's like it's like red chili, but it smells a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. It was, um, but dude, K- yeah, this is going to be so Colorado. KTCL was cool. That's where uh, I learned about Oasis for the first time. Yeah, they were alternative. They were yeah. the modern rock alternative. Mm-hmm. A lot of sex and candy nonstop. Yeah, Marcy Playground constantly being played. Yeah. I remember going, they did an annual show at Red Rocks, mm-hmm. and- was remember the Christmas Nick, one? Uh, it was the summer one. Yeah, remember yeah. Nick Cage? Of course. Yeah, he was. Yeah. The, I met him when I was in high school, and I was like, I want to do radio because yeah. I wanted to do comedy and radio. And he was like, Yeah, it's all being it's all being phased out by computers. And I was like, Nah, really? That's all like, these voices I can do though. Yeah, and he was like, Sorry, kid. <laughs> yeah. He really did like to stay away. Mm-hmm. And then I moved to Tucson and got into radio. I was yeah, like, you were radio Fuck first. Nick Cage. Right? I'm a Liu Kang guy. <laughs> Liu Kang. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm a. I'm a Kano. Yeah. Uh, I forget. Hey, you can do Luke Kang, but don't do the voice. All yeah, right. Well, this is still terrestrial radio. Can I do? Yeah. Don't do the him flying through the air kicking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which was just three stooges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Why are you on it? That would have been great if they made him do that. Like actual three stooges yeah, quotes. Eye gouging. I, and you're like, I thought mm-hmm. this guy was a Asian yeah. warrior. Just this one up and down the face. <laughs> fatality. <laughs> <laughs> Yiddish fatality. So you grew up in Elizabeth. Eastern Colorado, the forgotten maligned part of our beautiful centennial state. It is crazy how old Colorado does not start till it's Denver. Doesn't if give you're a shit. from if you're from mm-hmm. the Denver area, I'm from yeah. Aurora. It Denver do, Colorado doesn't start until you hit Denver. No, no, and then it ends once you hit like hundred and twentieth. Yeah. 
And then I think it ends even once you before Parker and all that. Like where Comedy Works South is, I yeah. don't count Greenwood Village as Denver. That was crazy because my whole life was watching that get built up. Yeah, yeah. Because living in Aurora, you watched it like grow and grow. Now mm-hmm. all my friends I grew up with, not all of them, but a lot of them live in Parker. Yeah, live everyone in lives in Parker. Yeah. And I fucking hate Parker, bro, because I'm from Elbert County. Oh, yeah. I have like nothing but blood that I want to spill in Parker. You have I'm contempt there. for them because oh, you yeah. remember when they're just farm boys. Well, they were never farm boys. We were farm boys. And then we'd go over there to go to see a movie before the Chinese man opened. Yeah, on a the Parker, Parker 20th. Arapaho, yeah, which is which hey, is also our movie theater. Hey, bro, I know that's where the confluence. It all we came all together. saw old school. Yes. You know, because <laughs> yeah. ours before that was actually near where David Bory lived, um, Hamden and uh, Seven Hills Movie Theater yeah, was the yeah. old one. Uh-huh. That was over there, and then when they opened Chinese Man, everyone was like, "Oh, hey, it was lights out, dude!" Dude, it brought every all yeah. the kids from all the surrounding yeah. areas. It's a great that place to learn and like scrape resin yeah and then just like chill in borders for four hours before the oh movie my god i uh i i got caught sneaking into a movie there yeah. with my friend calvin beeman well classic We're, calvin move dude cal first off calvin yeah. was all state baseball player so he was gonna get away oh, was, did he play any real sports oh calvin, oh, calvin. <laughs> um <laughs> So you were in Elizabeth. I didn't know Elizabeth and Parker hated each other. I think that we hated them, and then they don't think about us at all. It was the madman in the elevator meme. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they didn't lose any sleep thinking about E-Town. What high school did you hate? Ponderosa? Uh, Ponderosa was closest to us, but I hated Chaparral. Chaparral, who? Yeah. Didn't they get really good at football when Dave Logan went there? Uh, I think so. Like yeah. Dave Logan, who now coaches at Cherry Creek. Mm-hmm. A His, dynasty in, in high school, yeah. Colorado high school football. White and blue. Yeah, dude. Yeah. The, the Creek Mystique. My cousin Oliver plays for him right now. Wow. Hey, shout out Oliver. Oliver. Yeah, yeah. Big Ollie. He's like a six foot seven sophomore. Golly. <laughs> Yeah, hey, Ollie, drink some electrolytes, pal. Yeah, yeah, You're going to need it. Stay hydrated. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have Oshenschlotters. He's got uh, those yeah, doorknob uh, knees. He's, he's going to be like Andre the Giant by uh, the time he's 18. Yeah. He's like, I want to drink wine. Yeah. <laughs> like, Oliver, you all right? No go, boss. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> Just calling Katie and I boss. Yeah. He's like, sorry, boss. I don't know Christmas. I'm um, too much brain. <laughs> but he, uh, dude, what he, <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I've been listening to nothing but Mick Foley on Terry Funk today. Oh, it's great, dude. <laughs> Terry Funk is the man. Cactus, you dirty dog. He goes, your mother's a whore. You pig, Lawler. Yeah. Lawler, you pig. You pig. <laughs> Jay and I used to do a bit on the bonfire of uh, Terry Funk matches. Oh, yeah. Because when he, when we watched, Jay and I watched the documentary Beyond the Mat <laughs> uh-huh. together. Yeah. And there's a scene Which where I he's saw. like. At Chinese Man? Yes, sir. Let's With go. my father. Yeah. Let's go. Uh-huh. One of the great, it is the greatest wrestling documentary of yeah. all time. Mm-hmm. If not for the Jake the Snake moment where he goes, you ever look in the mirror and realize the person you hate the most is staring right back at you? My daddy diddled me. Yeah, he goes, I was, he goes, uh, well, he was born out of love and I still love him. He's like, my father raped my mother when she was 13. <laughs> Insane. It's an insane documentary. <laughs> And, and also his father was like six foot ten, four hundred pound uh, pedophile. Did you see the dark side of the ring on them? Yeah, of course. It's an it's Come on, Grizzly it's, Smith. Grizzly Smith. It's one yeah. of the saddest stories in wrestling uh-huh. ever. It's horrific. But also And during, they knew about it too. No one stopped him. Yeah. yeah he was well, just was on re- the road. That was like it really does read like old comedy where they're I'm like, sure. was he was he selling tickets, brother? Right. Yeah. Was he getting that pop? <laughs> yeah. That are, by the way, if you haven't Please go read Sam's book, Running the Light. It's a good book. It's an unbelievable book. Yeah. If you want to get the audio one, me and a bunch of other comics did chapters from it. I got to say, bud, you are revered. Ah, People, I'm not blowing smoke. People love your chapters. It was very fun to do because yeah, I loved the book. Thank you. Loved the book. Yeah. And then when you're like, you want to do the audio book? I was like, no problem. No mm-hmm. brainer. And then I know Ari did it. Burt Kreischer, Norman, yeah. right? Bunch no, of people. Not Norman. Norman tried and then. God bless him. Oh, yeah. yeah. I did two chapters. You Norman did. did. That yeah. was convenient. People just wanted more Dan. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know? It wasn't that New Orleans education. Yeah, he was like, dang old dear wood jumping around <laughs> on the pigeon. and I can't put my finger down on it. Yeah. <laughs> you go, he reads like a Cajun. Yeah. He doesn't talk that way. <laughs> he goes, I don't know. It's something about words on a page. Uh-huh. It just brings me to that Especially place. Especially they've got two Gs. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Cherry Creek School Districts did well enough that I could do two chapters. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, uh, my book is in Smoky Hill High School. Is it really? That's right, man. Yeah. It's is in, it it's really? It's in like most of the county high schools all over Colorado now. It's at Smoky Hill? Uh-huh, yeah. I would have, if I found that book in high school, you know yeah. how much that book would have meant to me? Well, I, that's nice of you to say. I think it's like right in there with like, if you're a young person who wants to like do cocaine... 
read the book. So Ollie, you're, hey, you're done with sports, bud. No, Ollie's at Creek, dude. They are, they're not going to let your sludge in their library. Don't call it sludge. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to let the, hey, <laughs> we talked about hey, this. Hey, T.O., what the hey, fuck are you can doing? can you make a note of that? I said no sludge talk. That's behind me, man. No, they just have Matt Christopher books at Cherry <laughs> Creek. Yeah, it's dude, just about It's winning. all left behind and shit. It's all, yeah, mm-hmm. it's all Kirk Cameron toys. Yeah. Dude, but, how about Arapahoe Road? Yeah. I love Arapahoe Road. I don't. Gunther we're, Tooties. We're and then you had the Bucket Scoop across the street. And the Target. It was Ruby an exceptional Tuesdays? Target. And a Garth's a Garth Sports. The Valley? Garth Sports. Yeah. Hold on real quick, though. Okay, sorry. Because I don't want to get too far away from the Terry Funk. Yeah. In Beyond, uh, Beyond the Mat, he's kind of retiring, but mm-hmm. then keeps getting called in for matches. Right. And that's why Jay and I would do like different matches where he's like, I've got to drive a U-Haul from California to Iowa, a loser leaves town match. Someone's got to put Gangrel over. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> he's like, these young guys, but watch that documentary. If you're not, even if you're not even in wrestling, yeah. it's young rock uh-huh. where he hits Mick Foley in the head about 20 times. Draws in the chair. throwing up. Yeah. And it's young rock hit beating the shit out of Foley in front of his, small children which he then apologizes to. yeah who are weeping <laughs> they're at the end they're like and the yeah. rock comes in and goes sorry i had to do that to your dad buddy yeah he had to do the damn job brother <laughs> yeah but he's still he's still carny rock yeah he's exactly not, he's not fake motivational rock uh-huh. like he is now he's yeah. not like hey try a little energy drink little guy your mana's strong yeah hey, athletic green bra yeah oh where's your on it bra <laughs> yeah you <gotta laughs> i really... think we're getting close to japanese rock yeah. oh, yeah. mr <laughs> mr furry take oh, a big oh, abuse oh uh, christian, <laughs> uh, christian. Uh, bigger fan yeah, i'm in a rock gay nomos will you uh, do the job brother <laughs> <laughs> uh, yakuza not to put you over <laughs> <laughs> but he, it's fucking wild because he beats the shit out of Mc, Mc Foley and then just apologizes profusely to his kids. And Foley's face looks like it's a it's a, fr- a fruit by the foot. Yeah. You know? And he's like so nice. Red. And he's like, I hate that. He's like, yeah. he's the sweetest man ever in wrestling. Yeah. And he's like, hey, cool. His that eyes hanging good. out of the socket. Yeah, he's like, good job. Uh, and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Arapaho Road. Sorry. Uh, a couple things I want to get to. Please. Bennett's Barbecue, mm-hmm. R.I.P. Yep. It's gone. Yep. There's like a whole little mini mall there, mm-hmm. but it used to be a barbecue place off Arapaho Road. Yeah. If you wanted to get to Park Meadows Mall, mm-hmm. you turned at Bennett's Barbecue mm-hmm. and you cut through the Inverness, right. which was like a it's a business park, mm-hmm. which is where I learned how to drive my car. Oh, in the empty parking lot. In the empty parking yeah, lot. Yeah. So my mom took me. I had a stick shift Honda Accord hatchback. Okay. And then I got it a police auction from one of her God, friends. Police auctions, dude. Yeah, and it, it was a lot. By friend, do you mean guy who DP'd her? Oh, Jesus Christ. I hey, hope Sludge only Man. One <laughs> Come on. Now who's slinging your mom, Sludge? Your mom's Sludge. You go, stop it, Sam. Dude, I was joking. It, shut up. Yeah, dude, enough Sludge my, talk. My wife's in the next room. Uh, they did. We, we did find out that Buzz, who was a mechanic, okay. who was my mom's friend, uh huh. Uh, they knew each other. I, I, it's not confirm, confirm nor denied that there was romantic connection. All right. However, Buzz also knew my friend Joel's mom. Oh no! And so I don't know if they were Eskimo sisters. Yeah. With a mechanic who was right off Sixth Ave and Two Twenty Five. Oh, that's not a good place to be hooking up, man. <laughs> You, you got to go all the way up to the worst highway in Colorado. You know what? You know what? Fuck. He's no, dude, you're a 225 rules. guy. <laughs> all 225 life, sucks. Oh, oh, yeah. Catch me between Iliff and Parker on yeah, 225. Yeah, dude, I got to get up to Florida and Iliff so I can eat the worst sushi in the world. <laughs> so, by the way, that is, uh, did you see the documentary on Netflix about the guy that had the motel, that uh, the voyeur? No. Oh, dude, it's in Aurora. What? A guy owned a motel off 6th Avenue at 225, yeah. and he would watch people for years. Is there a bunch of like footage of your mom walking in there, <laughs> holding <laughs> hands with men click. in overalls? <laughs> yeah. She's got a new key. <laughs> She's got a <laughs> Yeah. Ah, uh, my boy's gonna love this. Uh, Danny's but, sitting courtside tonight. Yeah. <laughs> he snuck down there, but Dan still. Hissel comes out wiping his mouth. Yeah, he's like, oh, your mother. It's the they call me the horse. <laughs> yeah, he goes, your mother cares about your sports fandom. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh no, a Dale Ellis jersey. Oh god, <laughs> damn doesn't it. care a lot. Hey guys, well it's time. Ads are here. We did it for free for five months, but we got to pay for the equipment. We got to keep the lights on. Isn't that what the old radio station said? Ah, we got to pay our bills. But we got sponsors. And this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Listen, life's tough. 
Therapy is, I think it should be mandatory. It's helped me out. I've been in therapy for over 12 years. It's helped me learn why I react to certain situations, to certain people. It's unbelievable. Um, I always will say this because I said it once to Jay and he was like, that's the best description I've ever heard. You untangle the wires in your brain. That's what therapy does. And BetterHelp can help you do that. Um, If you've benefited, oh, that's, they just told me what to talk. Give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched to a licensed therapist. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. That's huge because sometimes you're going to find a therapist that you click with and it's great, but sometimes you don't click and you need to find a different one. Don't feel bad about it. Just switch and BetterHelp isn't going to charge you extra if you want to switch therapists. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Soder today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash Soder. Hey guys, Dan Soder. I put a special out on YouTube called On The Road. I don't know if you haven't watched it yet, but if you haven't, go check it out. It was a fun little show in Portland Helium that we taped, and uh, it's got some fun jokes on there. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to be on the road, Cincinnati, Ohio. I'll be coming to Go Bananas, March 8th and 9th, and then Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. Not Louisville, like I said last time. Lexington, Kentucky. We're doing two shows on March 10th. Come check it out. The first one sold out, but the second show we added. It's got tickets. And then Nashville. I'm coming to Zanies at the end of March. March 28th through the 30th. I'm bringing Brendan Sagalow. We're going to have a hell of a time. DanSoder.com for tickets. Thank you guys for watching the podcast and my stand-up. I love you. I love you so fucking much. Go watch The Voyeur on Netflix. I gladly will, yeah. Because it's about this guy. But it was where all my, it was right by Buzz's auto shop. Okay. Our, uh, Aurora, I think what what high school was there? It wasn't. Uh, Is it TJ? No, Aurora Central. Oh, God. Yeah, it was by Aurora Central. Yeah. And where we played soccer. And then there's just a motel where a guy was filming everyone that stayed there. Yeah. It's fucking wild. Jay found the documentary on Netflix and he was like, uh, hey, Dan. It was like things you will like. He was like, you might want to see this. <laughs> yeah. And I started watching it and I was like, I know exactly where that is. Yeah. <laughs> you would know exactly where that is. For sure. Anyone from Denver. <laughs> but Arapaho Road, Bennett's Barbecue, mm-hmm. my friend, my, my friend's older brother and his friend worked at Bennett's. Okay. And John Elway would go in there because it was right by the Broncos facility. Yeah, yeah, by Dove. And he'd just pound beers and smoke Smoked Marlboro six, Lights. dude, yeah. I have a bunch of friends. Everybody in Denver knew that about Elway. Well, my I had buddies who would work at Elway's, the restaurant in Cherry yeah. Creek. Which, that that opened after I left. Sure, yeah, when you abandoned us <laughs> to go down to Arizona. Oof, what a tough decision. You would come back to Colorado and tell us about New York, and we'd be like, really? You can do two sets a night, mister? And you'd be like, it's beautiful. <gasps> oh, buddy, I'm telling you right there. Yeah. There's pizza on every street. The streets are paved with drink tickets. Yeah, so that's all it is. Danny, Danny. You get to see Sean Patrick. I Mark heard you Norman. were at the New York Comedy Club. I was. I got to see Joe List do a check spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. I, I love you. I've always looked up to you, but uh, sincerely. But uh, fucking. What so the your hell? buddy worked. Oh, saw. they'd work there, and then uh, they, you know, it would, like midnight, it would shut down, and then Elway would come down from wherever gilded box he lived in upstairs, and be like. No one's leaving till I get a Marlboro Red. And eventually, my buddy would keep a fresh pack of Marlboros on him, but he would also smoke Marlboros, and then he would offer Elway one. He's like, I need a sealed pack. What? Yeah. yeah. Damn, dude. He, he was... would have to make a run to get him fresh ciggies. And just he would just come to the restaurant and ask for a cigarette. Yeah, and like play pool and shit. That's, it, it's still John Elway. Oh, he's the man. Well, here's the thing that no one talks about John Elway. Remember when his old lady got sick and got that colostomy bag put in? No. Well, he did, and he left her right around that same that time. That was when he left? Yeah, dude, when she finally had the port put in. Damn. Great comedy club. <laughs> Check it out. It's in Baltimore. It's good. I like right it. There. I love it. Inner I Harbor. Did, I did it in January. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable. I know I'm going to Magoobies, and I'm like, man, that little room was nice. Yeah, hey, I sure huh? sold that one pretty well. <laughs> Didn't have to do radio. <laughs> Video on those days, <laughs> you have to stand outside of the sandwich board worried about that one. Yeah. Do you remember when he got caught with the house in Cancun? Yeah. 
Uh-huh. So for those of you who don't know, John Elway, Hall of Fame quarterback. Still my quarterback. Still Sam's quarterback. Yeah. I was a Montana guy. Yeah, more of no. a family man. I was a big Montana guy. Yeah. I love Arby's. <laughs> 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 the big Montana did fucking rule. Dude, it was crazy. It was this big. <laughs> Dude, I tried to. Katie's never had Arby's. What? And I keep being like, Arby's rules. Side story. A little Colorado side story. One time I was in the parking lot of Target where there was an Arby's on Buckley in Hamden. Yeah. Right? I think that's what it is. Buckley in Hamden. There's a, there's a Target and it's an Arby's. kind of up by like center folds. No, 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 no. It's more toward toward Smoky Hill. Okay. And it's it's uh it's it's Quincy and Buckley. Quincy okay. and Buckley. Quincy and Buckley. Makes more a, sense. You know, there's like the King Supers, and then a, a Kitty Corner. There's a Target with an Arby's in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. One time, my friend and I were smoking a bowl in my car and watched a guy kick the shit out of his kid in an Arby's parking lot. No. And we had to be like, hey, hey, like honk our horn. Yeah. But we were smoking weed, so we right. were like. Like out of a tin little pipe. Uh huh. And we're like, look at this. And the guy was like opening his back seat because it was like a two door. And he's like spanking his kid. Oh, bare like, ass? Uh, not like over his pants, but okay. like doing it in a way that you're like, that sure. dog, that's abuse. Yeah, yeah. It's like a Django scene. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we, and then we just like in my car, we're like, weep. And they're like, bah, bah, bah. and we're like, hey. Leave him alone. Yeah. And the guy's like, hey, who said that? <laughs> the guy was like looking at us while he's spanking. He's like, shut the fuck up. And yes, sir. Like, All right. I don't want to catch one of those. We're going to get a Jamocha shake. You need anything? <laughs> the turnovers are fresh at six. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing one of their new deli sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, it's a healthier option. <laughs> it's the number 12. You can probably put two in those giant hands. Can I get you some curly fries? That might bring everyone together. I'll put all the sauces in the bag. <laughs> I used to, we used to go to that Arby's uh, somewhere. Well, here's the thing about Aurora is that kids from buyers would claim to be from Aurora. Why? Because uh, it was like well, cooler. Well, we claimed we were from Denver. I know you did. Yeah. yeah. And it's I all, all shit mo moves downhill. Right. And I'd be like, I'm from near Castle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, you know about Lyman? That's yeah, the, the big city. <laughs> dude, there, are, there are people that are from Denver right now. They're going, you guys are doing Eastern Colorado talk. Yeah, who it's cares? Not even, we're not even getting Denver talk. Talk about the flat irons at least. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Bring up Pearl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Where, what are your confines of Denver? In your head, what do you think is Denver? I'll tell you mine. Alameda to the south. Yeah. All right. And then uh, Bruce Randolph to the north. And then I-25 to the west. And then I say Colorado, but recently I've said Monaco to the east. That's I my think idea. Monaco, Denver, absolutely. Right? I would go as far as to say Colfax. Well, Colfax runs east west. That's what I mean. All the way, uh, I would say that's like the most south. Colorado, uh, Denver to me runs like, I'd always felt like when we went north of Colfax. Okay. It was like we're in Denver. Yeah, okay. It, no matter where, like, so you from, had to be across Colfax to be in Denver. Yeah. It was like if you bumped up to Colfax, mm -hmm. that everything else south of that felt like, oh, that's Aurora. Sure. And mm -hmm. then everything north of that was Denver. Right. West, honestly, because we were coming from the east, yeah. everything from Arvada, Arvada felt like Denver. Sure. You go all the way to Boulder and you're like, I don't know, is does does this still count? Like, you know what I mean? Dude, Franktown felt like Denver to us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're going on the wagon the, train. How how far, how long did it take you to get to Aurora from Elizabeth? Uh, it's closer than Denver, probably like 40 minutes. That's crazy. Yeah, because you can take Delbert Road all the way in. Yeah, so kids from Byers would be like, oh, we're from Aurora. Yeah. Oh, sure. Is this relating with you? You know all about rural Colorado, right? Yeah, This he's a New York kid. Yeah. It is. Well, it's crazy. Is it's interesting. It's not funny, but it's, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, but people put on podcasts just so they don't have to think about their own lives. Yeah, yeah. So they and don't by the cut way, their thighs. People from Colorado? Yeah are going to shit at this oh, first. Oh, yeah. They're going to be like, I know that. I yeah. know that. They're going to crash their Subarus into Dick's Sporting Goods Park. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Dude, my mom's boyfriend, Joe, bought a Subaru. It was the most disappointed I've ever been when someone said they were leasing a car. Why? How did she just date these men for, for no, regional cars? No, no. <laughs> Dude, it's all the auto trade. Yeah. We used to call her auto trader. Uh -huh, yeah. We'll go, <laughs> Kelly Blue Book over there. <laughs> she you buys know, low and she sells lower. You know, my mom took the Kelly Blue Book value. <laughs> Probably get you two dinners in a weekend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but leaving Denver and then coming back in like, because I left for college when I was 18 mm -hmm. and I went to Arizona and come back. And then you had all these like people, these transplants, mm -hmm. which you must hate. Cause you're, nah. I would say out of my friends, you're the most, in comedy, 
you're the Colorado guy. I fly the flag. Yeah, you fly the flag. Uh -huh. You, the Grolix guys, yeah. are the most, my, out of my friends, Sharpie. Yeah. There's like a couple guys that are like Colorado. Are your friends dudes. in comedy. Yeah. Sharpie. <laughs> Come back, Sharpie. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I need a tiny host. God damn, he's the best. He's so funny. You can, you can also bring him to the gig in your carry on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. He, uh -huh. <laughs> dude, uh, there's a picture of the world's tallest man meeting the world's I've shortest seen that. woman. Yeah, Did it's you awesome. see that? Mm -hmm. They have to. <laughs> hang out now because all i want is him walking around with her like a parrot uh-huh and you bring <laughs> up that picture crackers. you know, homeless pimple edit it so the picture comes up yeah it is fucking wild that's awesome he could do this he could like put her in his hand and yeah. be like it's a little scoop up yeah it's gonna be Forklift oliver with his first girlfriend where he's yeah, like, exactly i want to feed you do you want to kiss yeah we beat grand view i have to take a shit in the bathtub because the toilet's yeah. too big look at those two yeah look, look at, at those that. two just out mm -hmm. having fun yeah how does he not you know what i'd want to get launched if if i were her i would want to get like like a dad does with a yeah. baby all the way to the moon yeah just like <laughs> fire like really fire me up there yeah. I, like i Hoppy. want you to, yeah i want you to granny shot me yeah. up into the air and by the way put some english on it yeah yeah a little backspin <laughs> <laughs> flick it a little so i'm like i'm not wearing panties yeah. flip me oh. <laughs> yeah. it has got to be weird though because the tiniest woman and then the tallest man yeah, his dick's taller than her yeah yeah and also it's pure fear she's oh, like God. i'm prey you're out of yeah. his gums he's like can you go back here behind my ear and she's just back there <laughs> yeah we should all have a tiny companion <laughs> dude what do you think me and sharpie were so close <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, sharpie yeah. get my back yeah he was your speed and you were his power <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> used to do a gag called taking up space with sam and chris uh, where he would like stand in a doorway and then i would stand in a doorway and uh, they'd be completely occupied oh that's wow great. so this is this is the world's shortest man meets the leggiest woman. Yeah, it means Princess Di. Uh, I mean, yeah, dude, for real. Look <laughs> yeah. at those yams. Well, I can't because you're being perverse and not sharing. Uh, thank but you, look, Dan. <laughs> God, look at now him. who's sludge? He looks like it looks like a Mad TV. Sketch. He's not people or a Mad Magazine. <laughs> yeah, that's Mister Mustapolistic from Superman. <laughs> you say his name backward, you get a wish. <laughs> I really thought it was Isle of Doctor Moreau. Also. Give me all of that. Yeah, dude, yeah, look at that. Would. You're, you're a big boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, you would take down the leggiest woman easy. I betted a volleyball player once, and then two weeks later, I betted a ballerina. And you couldn't have had lower payloads than either of those girls. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah, that ballerina would walk around uh, on the tips of her toes for the first hundred steps of the day and just be like a trail of blood all over the apartment. Oh, my God. Yeah. Those were my first girlfriends in Denver. I don't want to say girlfriend lover she took me in yeah yeah i you, she bought you, me breakfast I, I don't think you need to speak of yourself like you're frankenstein <laughs> living outside of a hovel well she did chase me into that bell tower yeah, yeah. i watched her and learned language from how she interacted <laughs> yeah, she taught me shapes <laughs> she now i know where the sun goes at night <laughs> i used to just get confused and scream at the sky yeah give it back but then old bloody toes taught me where it was going <laughs> taught me i took a big nap <laughs> But you, <laughs> do you want to, you don't, you want to stay in Denver? No, I want to move to Paris. I'd leave to, I'd move to Paris tomorrow if I could. Really? Yeah. That's, your, yeah. that's where you'd, how'd think, you watch Bronco games? Uh, at 4 a.m. You would get up. And be alone in the bar. Dude. Mm -hmm. Just me. Like, this man, he comes around, he cheers for these ponies. They are like horse people. They are horses, but they run together. Yes. And you know, my favorite part of Bronco games was, was is Thunder still around? Uh -huh. Thunder rules. Yeah. Well, it's like, is it like Thunder 5? Uh, yeah, I don't think Thunder's lived forever. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, telling me, you're telling me that pat bowling didn't give that horse a cloak of invincibility they actually put pat soul into the horse <laughs> it's like a krang situation this is a, a voodoo shaman it's yeah. like adonaza uh -huh. mr bowling lives in the horse now it was pierre paul that's so funny <laughs> yeah, they brought him over i love it. yeah so when i would go to broncos games mm -hmm. my favorite thing was the broncos would score a touchdown and then they'd have an actual bronco yeah. run around the stadium the but big it, flag it would shit all the time when yeah. horses can poop when they run mm -hmm. coolest part about horses if you ask me yep. and they it's were not just, their lithe muscles or their grace. giant dong <laughs> yeah, it's dumping on the go 
<laughs> Hello, God. Can we get that feature and not make it liquid shit down our legs? Uh, just once a solid would be killer, God. <laughs> if you got time. I know hey, you're busy hey, over there in Palestine. Hey, hey, Seuss, I know you're dealing with Rafa right now, but <laughs> yeah. if you could toss me a run in Duke, yeah. I'd appreciate it. One brown rope <laughs> would be huge. But it would be so funny because the stadium would be just fucking rocking, yeah. listening to Gary Glitter idolizing a pedophile oh yeah I will, I, oh yeah bring incomplete it back. but bring back rock and roll part two they haven't gotten away it's not gone i went and saw them lose to the patriots and get knocked out of the playoffs and they played yeah yeah but bum 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 but do you know that guy was such a pedophile he got kicked out of taiwan uh, i did not know that but i knew I think he was thailand too i think they were like guy Come on, we like, do that here. Hey, if it starts with Thai, you're not allowed. All right. <laughs> if there if there's a sex trade industry here, yeah. we just you can't. Well, me and Bori are going to Bangkok together. Oh, in man, April you, and Brent Gill. Yeah, so they're just going to be following us from the airport. <laughs> that group, they're like, well, come on, guys. Yeah, how many kids are they going to smush? What are you, dude? My favorite <laughs> SNL sketch that no one remembers was in the Bill Hader years, and yeah. they did a um, Rosetta Stone. Okay, and it was Bill Hader, and he's like, I'm trying to learn Thai. Yeah, I'm going to Bangkok for a thing, <laughs> and it was all sexual criminals trying <laughs> yeah. to learn the languages. Yeah. I was like, that's such a brilliant that's sketch. Great. Yeah, but yeah, how, what are you? How long are you guys going for? Uh, two weeks. <sighs> yeah, it was Bori's idea. Yeah. He just wants to go hang out. Yeah, and we're taking, we're going, we're flying to Vietnam, and then we're taking a river cruise up to Bangkok. Oh, you guys are gonna be doing this so, so much. I don't get mosquito bites because of my Mexican heritage. I'm a quarter Mexican, and I don't get bites. Is that is that what you tell yourself? That's what my grandma told us. Your abue, if your abuela tells you that, then mm -hmm. that's true. Mi abuela dice, yeah. no tienes <laughs> una <laughs> de chupas de mosquito. <laughs> Susan, look at me. No mosquito will ever bite you. No, and you do not uh, want to learn the language because it's for dogs. <laughs> Please, you'll never get a real job <laughs> if you learn the language. Grandma, Man, I don't want a job. I want a job so bad. You Abuela. are my little sludge child. <laughs> <laughs> Your name in Espanol means slush. Slush. <laughs> You're slush. I regret not learning Spanish so fucking bad living yeah. in Colorado. Uh -huh. and just completely going, I'll do French, you fucking moron. Yeah, dude, what were you thinking? I... I I think friends of mine took it in seventh grade. They yeah. took French, and I was like, I'll go with them. It's a sexier language, but you can't use that on federal. <laughs> no, you cannot. No. No, you cannot. Dude, have you been to federal recently and gotten some Vietnamese pho? No. Oh, my God. I'll put our pho up against anywhere. Really? Dude, over there at, like, uh, Tennessee, right by uh, Star Kitchen, there's a place called Golden Bowl, dude. Listen, I've, if you're in Colorado, yeah. please. I don't know, man. <laughs> Here's the thing I like I'm about podcasts. I'm going to talk to anyone about this shit. I did want to know about John. Oh, oh we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll get to John Elway's Beach House, but yeah. real quick, Golden Clear Bowl. Clear your schedule. Clear your schedule. <laughs> yeah. Golden Bowl, uh -huh. off federal. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's Here's, just excellent. And they uh, do the blood cake, uh, Bun Bow Way. Mm. Yes. Ari Shafir and I talk about this all the time. If there are local businesses, you should absolutely shout them out on yeah. podcasts. Yeah. Because you have no idea who's listening. No. And who might actually go give them business. I want them to put my... Dude, if I can get my fucking picture hung up in Pete's Kitchen, I've made it. Oh, you could get that done. I think so. You, if I just you, go in wearing this jersey... Pete's like, oh, he's a Bronco. Oh, Pete's Kitchen fucking rules. It's okay. It, there's a lot of sentiment that is in our memories. Well, it's like Steuben's. Steuben's is not, you can't compare the two. I liked Steuben's Steuben's is up. good, yeah. I but mean, it was like the best restaurant we had. Yeah, that's yeah. why. But back then. Yeah. And then now I go and I'm like, wow. Is it still? And everyone's like, we've got, what? Yeah. Go next when door you to move Ace. from a place. Yeah. When you move from a place and you come back to it, mm -hmm. you're still stuck in that year. Yeah. So I have comics like Big J was at Comedy Works and he's like, dude, where should I go eat? And I'm like, I can give you a one Rex. Yeah. What do you tell him? Like Sam's number three? Well, th that's the place right by the comedy Everyone club. eats at Sam's number three. But I, I told him like um, Illegal Pete's if you can get it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that burrito chain that's in eight different states. <laughs> this guy knows Denver. I don't. I don't know it. This fucking guy has got me. <laughs> well, I love you, but come yeah, on. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> I really this don't. Is, this is Swollen Valor. All I want, all I want is Good Times Burger when uh -huh. I go home. Oh, dude, Good Times right there on Colfax? No, I want, the Ogden? One, I want the one right by the Arby's where I watched a kid get beat. Sure, that's the better one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Quincy and a lot of positive memories there. I did mushrooms in the parking lot of the Good Times. For the first time, first time I ever did mushrooms when I was 16 was at the Good Times. <laughs> did mushrooms the first time I ever at Parks Meadows Mall. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I, went, I used to work at that Red Robin. <laughs> Dude, I went to that Red Robin all the time. Really? Yeah. Was when were you boy. working there? Uh, from 99 to 01. Okay, I bet I was there in 01. I mean, Christmas there, 
was hell. Yeah. I if bet. you work at a restaurant near the major mall, uh-huh. Christmas season is your Vietnam. Yeah. And like the way they would breach us, the way they would brief us is they'd be like, it's going to get bad around two. <laughs> it's going to get worse around five. <laughs> around seven o'clock, you're going to want to kill yourself. <laughs> Tell Scott if you need a smoke break and yeah. just go back out by the trash can. <laughs> we used to take um, the food runner trays uh-huh. for Red Robin, yeah. and when it would snow, there was that hill. Down the hill. Yeah, we'd yeah. go up there yeah. on our smoke breaks and fucking uh, fly that's down. That's just good old-fashioned fun, It man. was fun. Yeah. Red Robin sucked to work at, yeah. but we got free food. All the fries you can eat. And a lot of cute girls would come in. Oh, and yeah. It's a high school boy. You're like, this rules. I mean, Park Meadows Mall was a feeding ground. Yeah. It, when it opened. Because we I was an Aurora Mall yeah, boy up yeah. until eighth grade. Mm-hmm. And then Park hey, Meadows. if you need an airbrush t-shirt in a hurry. A Mr. Rags. The Aurora Mall, baby. If you want to go to the only <laughs> successful store, there's a Lids. Yeah, there's a Lids and a Black Eyed Pea. <laughs> it's crazy. You go to the Aurora Mall. That's why when the shooting happened there, you're like, I don't even think anyone went there anymore. Yeah. And everyone's like, yeah, this guy killed everyone at the Century Plaza. What, he Plaza. shoot a bunch of pigeons? <laughs> yeah. Why is everyone making this a big deal? And you're yeah. like, oh, people are still going there? Well, were people buying grills? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it Juneteenth? <laughs> <laughs> but Park Meadows opened up, and everyone was like, It was oh, night and day. That, it erased all history previous. But that's where all, like, kind of like we were talking about with the Chinese Man movie mm-hmm. theater, it attracted kids from everywhere. Yeah. So you got the Cherry Creek kids, you got Smoky Hill kids, Eagle Crest kids, kids from Elizabeth. And you got the Elizabeth kids in their letter jackets walking around with a chip on their shoulder oh, and dude. no one knows where they're from. <laughs> everyone goes, are you from, is that even in Colorado? What is that? What are you guys from like Eaton? Is they that go, Eats? No. No, Elizabeth, go Cardinals. <laughs> but dude, at, uh, at Park Meadows Mall was like, working at that Red Robin yeah. was where I got into a lot of shit. Sure. It was like, buying weed from people that worked at Earl's yeah. or like the people that would come, you know, my friends got hired at the Costco by there yeah. and they all got fired because of their uh, cloudy piss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How cloudy is a man's piss? Well, you smoke weed, <laughs> yeah. you're going to come out a little cloudy. Uh-huh. There's roaches floating. In this. <laughs> yeah. That's a Simpsons joke. Uh, oh, I didn't. Marge. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but John Elway, uh-huh. as Homeless Pimp has brought up, John Elway had a home in Cancun where it was revealed that he was flying down collegiate so- uh, volleyball players? I think it was soccer and volleyball. From northern Colorado, mm-hmm. which is in Greeley. Yeah. He would just have... Which is the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. He would have these hot college girls just go down to his house, and then what, like him and Gary Zimmerman would just go down yeah, there? Yeah, uh, Mark Schlaer's like, they call me stink. You want to yeah. find out why? I stink when <laughs> yeah. I fuck. But hey, can you put your phones in this bag real quick, ladies? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Come they, on in. They were doing the bags before Chappelle was. Yeah, yeah. They're he like, invented yonder <laughs> <laughs> to suppress his malfeasance. <laughs> yeah, and then he got caught because of pictures uh-huh. because a girl took digital pictures well he didn't realize he showed up in pictures so he thought he was a vampire and he's gonna live forever that's so funny well and thanks then, for saying that instead of laughing uh, yeah it's always a good sign it, well, it was because it took me a while to get it <laughs> yeah well i was like what it's a sign of oh. a good joke yeah oh you always like when an audience goes <laughs> yes very good <laughs> How about another humorous take, pig man? <laughs> what else do you got in that old clunky head, that sludgy head of yours? Well, today's sponsor, The Perfect Jean, finally solved all of your denim difficulties. They make great looking, perfect fitting jeans that are comfortable as sweatpants. I mean, listen, I love jeans. I wear jeans constantly. I sleep in jeans. That's the thing that Katie finds disgusting. But when I find a comfy pair of jeans, I, I'll, I'll wear them until they disintegrate on my legs. The Perfect Jean has done it. They've made jeans that feel like sweatpants, but also are denim, so you can wear them outside. And the secret is a special denim... The secret, a special denim fabric that's super soft and has the perfect amount of stretch so you can do squats, do yoga, or just sit around all day in them without ever wanting to take them off. They make six fits from skinny to thick thick and have a waist from 26 to 50 and lengths from 26 to 38. Big boys, short kings, tall dudes, and all the rest, they got you. For a limited time, our listeners get 15% off their first order, plus free shipping at theperfectgene.nyc or Google The Perfect Gene and use code SODER15 for 15% off. You get that. It's finally time to start crushing your balls. Uh, It's finally time to stop crushing your balls. See, you got to read that right or else I'm like, what kind of nut torture are you guys into? It's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.nyc. Our listeners get 15% off your first order plus free shipping, free returns, and free exchanges when you use the code SODER15. 
Got to use it at checkout, though. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc with promo code SODER15. After your purchase, they'll ask where you heard about them. Please support our show and tell them we sent you. That's cool. You'd be like, oh, Dan sleeps in his jeans. That's how we found out. And they'll be like, oh, you probably shouldn't do that. That's, that's, uh, that's crazy behavior. Guys, Manscaped. They want me to say something about St. Patty's Day, but it's, you know, whatever. Turn up your pot of gold. There you go. There's a St. Patty's Day thing. Find your gold underneath that, all that hair. Uh, I love Manscaped. I have a Manscaped before they were my sponsor. I love doing some trimming. I love keeping it nice. But also, Manscaped works not only just for your bits and pieces, but you can also use it, you know, maybe get your uh, sideburns right. Maybe the back of your neck. You can clean it and use it other places but i do love my manscaped and so i'm excited that we're working together maybe for your new lucky charm for saint patrick's day the lawnmower 5.0 ultra this trimmer comes with two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads one for a classic trim and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires it's equipped with dual led spotlights so you can navigate your shamrock patch man they're really pushing the same <laughs> patty's day thing the point is it's, it's a compact case which makes it an ideal companion ready for any adventure and last minute plans whether you're sculpting your beard or cleaning your neckline there are always the right tools for the job and they're absolutely right i do use it for everything so you can get 20 percent off and free shipping with code soder at manscape.com that's 20 percent off and free shipping with code soder at manscape.com this saint patrick's day make sure your little hairy leprechaun is luckier than ever with manscaped i didn't even really nail the accent but i nailed that ad read we used to go to park meadows and uh take drugs take ecstasy we would buy off the hilltop apartments in parker from russian guys and then go over there and one time there was a very very attractive blind girl and i don't know if david bory was there but i think clay dehan was there and i was like oh yeah i'm from uh, i'm from elizabeth uh, i'm a swimmer and she was like really and i was like yeah touch my abs and then i held up yeah. and she touched my fat pale belly and then she was like ew and then we laughed really hard but i was very upset oh no <laughs> yeah was like, i thought it would work as like a funny like pickup line with oh, like, she'd be like oh, yeah. Yeah. oh this guy's funny you know why because you were in high school mm -hmm. and that level of maturity with humor right she was just reacting viscerally well yeah and it was viscerally. also like she put her hand on a blindfold on into yeah. like a jar of brains and you're like oh it's spaghetti <laughs> yeah this <laughs> is cold spilled grapes <laughs> don't worry <laughs> tell them it's eyes it's my ass <laughs> <laughs> she goes oh my god were you in a horrific accident yeah what happened happened that's so funny being like yeah i'm pretty jacked you should probably put your hand on me yeah like, what happened to you samuel yeah a terrible accident yeah. i ate that muscular man yeah. <laughs> or he's yeah. inside of me yeah that's the thing you don't want is the part of mask where she feels his face oh, and she God. goes like oh pass <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. it's real hard to turn people down when you're blind i know she you was know, so you hot you seem so nice oh fuck you and they go like that after they touch you <laughs> yeah, fuck. I got it. Damn, dude, dating a blind girl? How the perfect crime? How long would it last until you got like uh frustrated with her? Where she'd be like, "What is it?" And you go, <sighs> "The sun's rising over the Rockies." <laughs> It's great. It looks like cotton candy. <laughs> it's heavenly. It makes yeah. me believe in God. I don't ask you what that sound is from a mile away. <laughs> you hear squirrels running? Can you quit clicking? <laughs> God, we're not even in a tunnel. You just put her hand up in the sky and you go, I don't know, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you just catch a vibe? <laughs> <laughs> Let the sun hit your hand. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What's I'd lie. I'd be like, it's DJ Pauly D. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, I've only heard about it. She's doing the Stevie Wonder all the time. You're like, stay stationary. Stop. People behind you can't see Mr. Uh, Bicentennial Man. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's got to be. You wonder if you are abled and then you you date someone with who's blind. Well, or something. I have a bunch of blind friends. Because my wife the, was the treasurer for the Rocky Mountain chapter of the National Federation of the Blind, the Damn. NFB. And they're cool. And we would like trip mushrooms with them and like have a blast. But what you, happens when you're blind and you trip mushrooms? Oh, they, they always say, I wish you could see what I'm seeing. And they yeah, a big laugh. Yeah, they do. They really do. They're a blast. Yeah, shout out Eileen Gallegos, Sweet G. She raps. 
She's like a 61 year old, like very obese grandmother. Love it. Yeah. And she like rap and like, you know, take and drugs. She, and she just does mushrooms with you. She's the best. And she's just like, do you think they ever get high enough that they think their vision comes back? Uh, I'm pretty sure they're aware that they've never seen. But have some of them seen and then like. You think they have a moment? Am I am I seeing again? Oh, uh, what? Because I can't smell, but I've gotten high enough where I've been like. I think I smell something. Yeah, what is that? It's toast. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 no, it's not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's uh, all gone. Oh, oh God. God I'm jr yeah. over here. Oh, wow. Damn, stop the damn match. <laughs> uh, stop the damn stroke. Dude, JR is so funny on Twitter. We're JR talking about rules. Jim, Jim Ross, mm -hmm. legendary wrestling commentator. Yep. Best follow on Twitter. Oh, he's great. Because he's horny. Oh, yeah, the thing you don't want to do with blind people. Order nachos and share them with the table. <laughs> Oh, I bet it's a mess. Because they, they tap around. to figure out the guacamole and the sour cream. What a murder scene. It's terrible, dude. What a murder yeah. scene. I was tripping mushrooms one time with this old blind guy, and he's like, you know, when society falls, we're going to be the first to die. They don't need us now. Oh. They're not going to need us then. Oh. I'll be food. I'm food. <laughs> and he goes, you want any more nachos? He's yeah. covered in cheese. He's in his elbow neck. <laughs> He goes, by the way, I don't know if I've been eating cheese or blood. Yeah, you are food. Look yeah. at you. Ah, yeah, you're covered in food. You look like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> them eating nachos. There's them cheese all over their face. Your chin's a Pollock painting. Oh, my God. Appetizers. Fucking get this man a bib. <laughs> It, but having an old blind man yell, I'm food. I'm food. I'm food would creep into my nightmares. Oh, I think about it all the time. Or just, I just wake up and go like, he's not food. He's not food. I'm food. Wait, wait am I food? Ah, I'm food. Yeah, dude. Do you think after you moved to Paris, mm -hmm. you would ever go back to Colorado? Will you settle in Colorado? Because mm -hmm. I have a feeling there's a chance I might. Here's the thing, man. Is like I, we, we have this like, idea of buying a home in colorado yeah. and letting my sister live in it oh yeah i want to buy a house on 7th street park great which is like the nicest part of denver yeah and uh letting my sister and my brother-in-law live in there but at the same time it's like if you buy a house or like what fucking buy a condo in the brooks towers yeah you know what i mean yeah it's i don't just know like i don't want to be I got tr trish has, trish has got a townhouse near meadow hills golf course Ooh. so i'm just that's my retirement nothing plan. wrong with that it's a good townhouse yeah, yeah. she's Fine doing golf right. course a very playable golf yeah, course yeah. I suck at golf. It's no Castle Pines. I mean, I'm not. Listen, we don't have that money. Dude, Douglas County, if it was on fire, I wouldn't spit on it. Damn. Yeah. So even if Douglas, I had a big someone old Someone in Douglas County is listening to this and going, all right, Sam. Hey, man, come over to Elbert County. Come check out Kiowa. Dude. Wear your North Face jackets over there and see how long you last. Now, where it see, always looks like rain. You know, when you, you know when you talk to someone and they know a different language and then they like, they're out of practice speaking it. Uh -huh. So they go like, I can conversationally keep. Right, yeah. That's with Colorado knowledge. I'm out of my I'm out of my depth. Well, it's because I'm so immersed in rural eastern Colorado now, living down near La Junta. I mean, it's got to be nuts. It's crazy, dude. There's a population of people who walk to Sonic and order at the window. You don't want to be trapped behind those guys. No. What is it like a roving pack? Yeah, it's like, hey, do you guys take copper wire? <laughs> what about catalytic converters? Yeah. What do you can do? Can I get one of those slushies for a catalytic converter? Yeah. Can you do a uh, ocean water and the ice cream <laughs> down the side? I don't want to mix in. Doctor said no mixins. I took Katie to uh, Sonic for the first time. Yeah. Uh, we were staying in Longmont. Mm-hmm. And I was like, do you want to go to Sonic? And she's like, yeah, I've actually never had Sonic. And she was like, so overhyped. Yeah. I was like, I What'd she get though? I don't know. Green chili cheeseburger? No. Mm, maybe the uh, breakfast toaster chicken sandwich? Uh, mm -hmm. I thought you were going to do a click after cheesy every... cheesy tie? <laughs> I'm talking to that blind girl. That? Yeah. <laughs> all your, all your, bl your blind posse is yeah. going nuts right now. They're like, yeah. Sam, what are you doing? You're confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw you some mushrooms with the blind guy just Clicking throw around. Wait, wait. Hey, I'm over here. Where am I? I'm huh? gonna get the castanets. I'll be right back. <laughs> I gotta get that last nacho before he smashes it with his forearm. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, they're just like, I think there's still a chip left. Yeah. Uh, over oh, here. Oh, corn salsa. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is the salsa. Yeah. This whole hand is in it. Hey, just cheese sticks, boys. <laughs> I know you're all food, but don't make it my problem. God damn it. How did that? Can I ask you back to that blind guy yelling, sure. I'm food at you? Mm -hmm. How did it calm down? Did he just go like, ah, anyways? Well, you know how when you're on mushrooms, there's those like spikes of like enthusiasm. Yeah. And then there's just like the denouement of kind of like, 
Uh, uh, but another thing, you know, so that was like his like, we're food. You're, you're describing just, every hang with Dan St. Germain. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather, say, I'd rather oh, hang with oh, oh, right. <laughs> he, was, he was one of those guys that used to wear the hoodie with the suit jacket over I it. I love him, dude. Remember that look? Yeah, I, that was I, big. Bring it back. Yeah, hey, get it in there. Suit jacket. Uh-huh. Casual and... Let's get some fingerless gloves going. Oh, dude. You're talking about all my best friends. Oh, yeah. Are you making a mishmash of all my friends' fashion? I think I'm just describing Jeff Tate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Big J, St. Germain. Well, Big J is the OG fingerless gloves guy. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah. I mean, that's like if anyone claims fingerless gloves in comedy. Who's better than Big J? I'm not besmirching. Dice, Dice would be the only one. Dice <laughs> has actually publicly said that like he created the fingerless gloves in comedy. Wow. What a uh, the what one? a lineage to leave behind. I know, you know, yeah. Mine, uh, my big head follows in line with other victims of fetal alcohol syndrome. Yeah, uh-huh. such as yeah, adult onset encephalitis. Uh, yeah, yeah. And my eyes are just close, and I'm just like, <sighs> I've heard you talk about this closeness in your eyes. I think you have a perfect face. Thank you so yeah, much. You have like Mount Rushmore head. Dude, come on. With the yeah. flat nose, uh-huh. it does look like it was blown yeah. out of granite. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you hang out at the Arby after hours. Dude, you take you a couple socks flattened. to the nose. <laughs> yeah. What's your, have you been to the Botanical Gardens in Denver? Yeah, of course. Growing I up, it. I did. We favorite. did it all the time. That's where my mom's interned. That's where she you. She has a tree there. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. my dad, we got, her, we got her a buckeye tree because she's from Ohio. And then my dad got her a plaque. And then we did a big plaque reveal where we went and we, uh, we, you know, held each other. We wept. We gathered around. And then my dad pulled the cloth off the, off the plaque and it says, Betsy Talent, I'll be seeing you all very soon. That's fun. <laughs> That's very fun. Yeah, That's dude. a lot of fun. Yeah, my dad my, rules. <laughs> my, uh, my grandma is in hospice right now. Oh, and wow. so it's like this weird thing where she's dying but still hanging around uh-huh. it's like she's got her coat on and she's at the door right but you're like oh um tell dad i said hi right mm-hmm. another thing let him know the niners lost because yeah. kyle didn't run the ball mm-hmm. also did you do you remember where all my like old cards are? you like want to mm-hmm. ask her about stuff as she's leaving right because it is crazy because once they're dead you're like it's all over well how fast am i going to see you again mm-hmm. might be real fast might not be for yeah, a while fingers crossed i never see you again grandma yeah, uh, now where you're going we're going different directions in the same parkway but it is weird to have like it is weird to have because she lives in uh the bay area or she's in sacramento right now oh, wow. but uh at hospice nurse will put her on speakerphone so it's weird to have your final conversation with a loved one with just a guy named manny standing there mm-hmm. and you go hey manny um you're gonna hear me choke up, right. but just know I'm a I'm a dude, I'm a strong dude. Mm-hmm. He's like I'm listening to LOS. Yeah, he goes, sorry, bud. Louis, Louis is so crazy. Louis is back out of what. Yeah. Or he didn't die in hospice. He went into hospice because he hurt his foot, and he just was like. I'm good. You know what? I'll die right here. My mom's dead. And he gathered us all around his deathbed. And he was like, Betsy, Julie, it's been an honor to be your father, the truest honor of my life. And Dave and Tom, thank you so much for taking care of my baby girls. And to my grandchildren, I didn't know love until you came into my life. But now, like George General Patton said to his troops, I fought my last battle. Go on. Win your own. Goodbye. And then he just laid on his pillow. And my mom's like, Dad! My Aunt Julie's like, Dad! And everyone's like freaking out. And then I just see my grandpa go, <laughs> he, he looked around to see if we were still there. <laughs> he goes, and see. And then he lived for six more months. No yeah, way. Yeah, he came to Thanksgiving that year. No way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He gave a goodbye <laughs> yeah. and then showed up and went, are you guys doing skin on or skin off turkey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who did the stuffing? I wish I would have died when I gave you that speech. This shit's dry <laughs> as hell. That's wild. Yeah, it was a fun move. That, <laughs> there is a feeling, you know, my grandmother's 97, and I've been talking about it on stage, but there is this feeling of like, you can go. Yeah. There's like, it's 97. Right. There's not like a, ah, you got to stick around for one more NBA playoff push. Yeah, what are you going to do? Another I quit match? Yeah. Come she's on. like, I've got a Dan's inheritance on the line match. <laughs> Loser leaves Lakeport. <laughs> 
I am excited to uh, <laughs> when she does pass on. I am excited to go to her townhouse. Yeah, and just r- fucking rob it blind. Well, she robbed. She got me a little bit, and Ooh. I've explained this on the podcast. She kind of finessed me out of some money. She said she was having troubles, and I kept sending her money. Yeah, and then she broke her hip, and I saw the bank account, and I was like, "Bitch, this is more than I have in my bank account." Yeah, what the hell? So grandma's hoarding cash. I I, I felt that it was a little too mean, but I kept doing a thing on stage where I was like, "You really go through your grandmother's townhome differently, where you like picking up earrings, and you go." Yeah, these are mine. <laughs> Just putting stuff You're back biting in my like mind. a pirate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's real gold. That 14 that. carat there. Because yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. it was wild. We were like going through stuff. And I was like, no, 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 is that expensive? That's mine. Fuck that. Yeah. Like for my cousin. Mm-hmm. Be like, I, I paid for that. <laughs> but it is. It's like weird because everyone in my family has died. Yeah. That's what they sad. did. Like under 50. Oh. So having someone die at a natural time, mm-hmm. you're kind of like, oh, this is this feels Yeah. Hey, tap out. Yeah. Yeah. Have some dignity. Jesus Christ. How many get- diapers are you gonna go through, Grandma? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. We can't go to IHOP anymore. The changing table's not big enough. Well dude, she I took her to uh about five more than that. 2014. I took her to the second to last game at Candlestick. Whoa. So when she was eighty six. Dude, that was the worst experience of going to sports ever. It was like carrying a plate of Jello into an NFL stadium. We were like, "Watch out, watch out!" Because she was like, eh, eh, eh. "And you got her sat, and you're like, just stay here." And uh-huh. she's like, "I'm thirsty." And you're like, <laughs> "Shit!" And she's like, "I have to go to the bathroom." And you're like, "God." We Damn just it. sat down. And it, you know what? I don't want to break it to you, Grandma. It smells like you went to the bathroom. Yeah. All right, we're going to ring you, you out. I've, uh, since uh, about Oakland, I've thought you, you <laughs> yeah. did it in your pants. Uh-huh. Yeah, since that last Muni stop, I've been on to you, Grandma. My favorite argument with her was we were leaving the 49ers game, and I was using GPS. Mm-hmm. And she was like, go through the city. She's talking about going through San Francisco because she lived north in Lake County. And I was like, nah, Nana, GPS, Google Maps says we should go east, go through Oakland. And she was like, I've lived here for 72 years. And I was like, yeah, this is a satellite. Yeah. I, I, you're not winning this one. No, no. You're not going to argue with Google Maps, Grammy. Yeah, she thought I was going to yeah. be like, oh, okay. Take me the way you used to when all the blacks lived in Oakland. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's doing it when it's like <laughs> old timey shit where you're like, that's right, dude. She said. She's taking the red line routes that are safe. Yeah. She yeah. Goes, this, there's no rhythm and blues on this Daniel, trip. this is a celestial neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we were dry. I swear to God, that same trip, we were driving to the stadium and the windows down. And I've told the story before, but this woman laughed and my grandmother went oh i could tell from her laugh she's oriental and you go oof, oof. after my mom's stroke god bless her uh, asian people would walk by and my mom would go <laughs> no way yeah after a stroke she would just laugh at asian people in the park she'd be like so here's my thing how do you explain that to anybody i tell people all the time my no, mom was like a good while, person. It was, while it was happening you're like i didn't try to explain i just fucking rolled in the mud i was loving it dude <laughs> I, she goes sam yeah <laughs> literally she'd be like <laughs> like she was like can you believe this <laughs> why what did the show do to her brain i don't know she it? would count airplanes so anytime i'd go out and visit her she'd tell me how many airplanes she saw that day she'd be like and yeah. the asian people that was it yeah turns out you never know what you're gonna love right before you go oh yeah there was like a we yeah, went, it's, we're it's into jelly beans and laughing at disabled people not they're not disabled they're asian i'm saying that might be that's my that's mine oh yeah i'm sure. gonna love jelly beans and laughing at people in you love jelly beans i don't know i don't know what the stroke's gonna do <laughs> you think that's <laughs> coming down the pipe <laughs> i don't know I, i'm thinking of the randomness of it yeah i'll probably like, wind up wearing hats i'll be like yeah. a hat guy oh my god <laughs> yeah but like weird ones like the kind that women wear to the kentucky derby right yeah and he uh-huh. goes sam i can't talk to you right now you're just like you don't have to talk just look at my hat yeah there's a flower on the flower <laughs> you go, oh, this is there's fun. bees circling dad <laughs> God damn what are you doing Sam, take off the hat let him can't. have it let him, no he gets he freaks out if you know <laughs> yeah. he, oh! <laughs> he pulled the hat this son of a bitch took my hat there's a smaller hat yeah. just in ah! case <laughs> go, god damn it him and he's his hat yeah. <laughs> this fucker loves his hat he's fedorable um so we do a thing on this podcast. Sure, yeah. Is it just we talk about Colorado only? Oh, I got one. You know I keep that thing on me. Yeah, oh, I like this segment. Yeah, uh, we, so we start doing it, and people just like it, mm-hmm. but it's fun as hell. Yeah. From a 1989 box of NBA hoops cards. Okay. Um, Who gets the gum? 
oh, there is no gum. Oh. Trust me, because I, I would have ate every piece. You start eating the cards after your yeah. stroke? But go through there, dude. You fucking rule, and Thanks, I was really man. happy that you were coming to New York and you got to come up into the Sky Palace. Yeah, me too. And, do, uh, and Myrtle went nuts. Mm -hmm. It's always a sign of a good person. Well, yeah, Myrtle she loves a true alpha. She, yeah, she knows She knows that I'm the beta. Mm -hmm. She knows I come in here and I go, please come in here. My dog's going to love you. I hope we open up a Purvis. Oh, I hope you get good <laughs> basketball cards. I noticed Purvis isn't in this pile. Uh, That's going in the archive? I do. Is that not Is uh, that not going in? I want to sign these and just start giving them to people after you should. shows. Yeah, yeah. Where they go, I got a Reggie Thuse signed by Dan Silver. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth less somehow <laughs> i don't know why i'm gonna yeah. burn it yeah. i'm gonna use it to light cigarettes uh -huh. <laughs> and stomp it out because i'm angry <laughs> shout out to the arby's on quincy and buckley shout out to pandarilla bayhot colfax and Penn. get in there yeah get in there in colorado you're still numero uno, numero uno. come see me at comedy works and thanksgiving do it <laughs> <laughs>